Hello! Today I am talking about my February favorites. I have a lot of stuff to cover today that is um, mostly not book related. Um, I am going to be talking about some makeup, some foods that I enjoyed, some recipes that I made that I really liked, um, and some obviously pot hot drinks, um, and uh, oh, and a, and a game that I've been enjoying. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is caffeine, obviously. Um, so the mug that I've been loving is this mug that my husband got me for Valentine's Day. It's Stitch and it says Ohana means family. Um, I absolutely love this and I took it to the classroom and the kids loved it too. Um, so this is my favorite mug of the month. Um, and in that mug, I have been enjoying a couple of different really uh, good hot drinks. So the first one is the coffee that I've been loving. I actually ran out of it toward the beginning of February and I need to place another order. And that is Green World Coffee. It's based in Ohio, um, not in Ohio, <laughs> it's based in Hawaii. And um, I went there for the first time when we were visiting my brother um, and his family who lived in Hawaii at the time. And now my friend and I make a bulk purchase. We buy, I don't know, like four or five pounds of coffee at a time and then we split it. And um, that gets us through a few months. Um, but shipping is expensive. So like find someone to, to split it with, but it's so good. It's absolutely worth it. Um, and my favorite flavors from there are the peanut butter cup, the snickerdoodle and the coconut cream. I mean, all the flavors honestly are delicious. So you can't go wrong with any of them. The other hot drink that I've been enjoying is this Bigelow peach and ginger ginger and peach herbal tea. I got this when I was pregnant um, and I didn't finish the box, but I'm uh, down to my last bag or two. It's really good and it's not, um, it's not really gingery. I am not a big fan of ginger, but it's got a hint and it's delicious. Um, I don't usually have an upset stomach and I just drink it because I really like the flavor of it. Um, so this is really good. Um, let's see some food that I've been loving. Um, also for Valentine's Day, my husband got me this Brickside Crunchy Clusters um, Berry Medley Flavor Chocolate. Um, so it's crispy multigrains and berry medley flavors in smooth dark chocolate, and it's so good. If you have not tried this, go get it. Go get it. Um, it's got, it's a little crunchy. No, it's definitely crunchy. Um, kind of like, uh, kind of like crunch bars. Kind of like crunch bars. It's crunchy like crunch bars. Duh. Um, but fruity and chocolatey and so good. Good job, husband. You are the best. Um, <clears throat> a couple of recipes that I've made that I've really enjoyed. Um, one of them is called Chicken Bacon Ranch Casserole. And it's everything unhealthy and amazing all in one. So you cook up um, bacon. And then you, while that's cooking, you mix up some um, chicken with a packet of ranch and salt and pepper and olive oil. And then you cook that with some pasta and you combine all of that with Alfredo sauce and cheese and it's like happiness in a bowl. And it's also a heart attack in a bowl and it's so stinking good. It's delicious. Go eat it. I'll um, link the recipes for this and the next one in the description, um, but it's so good. The next one was um, creamy mushroom fettuccine, and this one I made, I kind of adapted it. I did it in the Instant Pot, um, which worked out really well. I am uh, trying to learn how to use my Instant Pot a little bit more than I'm, I have been. Um, and pasta is super quick to, to put in there. So that's one thing I've been doing. Um, so I mixed all of it together. You just get some, some fettuccine and then um, 
in a skillet. I did mushroom with garlic in a bunch of butter and then I added um, cream and Parmesan. I think I used mozzarella cheese because I didn't have any Parmesan cheese. Um, and, and that made a really good sauce with salt and pepper and then you mix it all together and it's delicious and it's amazing. Um, so both of those recipes will be in the description. You should make them both. Moving on to makeup, one of my favorite things to talk about other than books and caffeine. Um, I've got a couple of things to share with you. So for lip products, um, I've been using the Beauty Counter uh, lip, I don't think this is actually called lipstick, um, lip pout lip pout um, and it's kind of like a gloss you can, I, that's what I have on right now it's kind of a glossy it's not super thick it's incredibly hydrating it doesn't stay on for very long but I really like the shade twig because it matches my lip color pretty well um, and is easy to just throw on at school so I really like this one it feels amazing on my dry lips and then I actually got this as a sample, it's a sample size, of their lip gloss. I don't know if you can see it very well. There, okay. Um, and this one is in Peach Pearl, and it is so pretty. It's um, a little minty, so it's got a little bit of a tingly sensation. It's it feels really good though. Um, I usually don't like mint on my lips um, because I feel like it chaps my lips more. This doesn't do that. Um, it's not sticky. It gives this really pretty shimmer, but very natural. It's oh, it's really, really nice. I love this. And um, I bought three um, full-size tubes of different colors that I, I like, but not as much as peach pearl. Um, I will probably eventually buy this in a full size. It's really pretty. I love it. Um, and then two eyeshadow palettes that I have been really liking. So I try to buy as much as I can, especially makeup and body, um, like hygiene and stuff. I try to buy cruelty free products when I can. Um, and so one palette that I've been loving is the Lorac Pro 3. And you, I got this for Christmas and you can see that it is well loved. Um, it's gorgeous. I especially love um, this light pewter shade right here. And then right next to it is Amethyst. And I've got it on today. Um, this one looks kind of intimidating, but it's really, really pretty. It's more like a dark purple um, shade instead of the red that I feel like it looks like. Um, but oh, it's just gorgeous. Um, I love all of the shades in this. The next one that I got is actually also because my sister-in-law has it and I love it and it's all over. It's nothing new and it is the beautiful Modern Renaissance palette um, by Anna Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, okay, so when I first looked at this, I don't wear a lot of pinks and reds and stuff. Um, these types of colors are not my thing, but oh, they are so pretty on. Oh my goodness. Um, they're very blendable. They're very pigmented. So like the slightest touch, um, gets a lot of shadow on the brush and they're just gorgeous. I love, love, love um, Vermeer right here. And then I really like um, this Venetian red right here on the outer corners. Um, and then this uh, one is right here, Tempera, is beautiful for my inner corners and then under my brow bone. Um, and it actually like even this orange is really wearable. So I love this palette because it um, is so pigmented but really really blendable as well. Um, I was terrified to, to use these but oh, it's 
gorgeous. I really like this one and I really want um, some of the other palettes too. Next up, and I think my last thing, yeah, my last thing for today is a video game, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. So I love Disney and I love these games, the storyline in them. Okay, actually, I take that back. Not necessarily the storyline in them. So I've played 1, 2, and 3 for the Playstations. Um, and honestly, I don't know the storyline. Like, I, I don't pay attention to the storyline at all. Um, I watch my husband when he plays it, and I watch the storyline for him, and then I skip all of those scenes when I play it because they're so long, and it's just like the movies, which is great, other than I just want to play. I just want to play. Um, but it's so much fun being in the different worlds and playing as the different characters, and I absolutely love the Kingdom Hearts games. Honestly, I've never finished one. I've gotten close, but I've never finished it. I don't know, but it's just fun to play. Um, so uh, I think that's it for my favorites this month. I had a lot of really great favorites for February, and I hope you found something new that you want to try. Tell me in the description or in the comments down below uh, one thing that you are loving in February, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.